Hi guys, welcome to Anu's Corner. Now my video today is about a new product that I picked up from Walmart. It is the uh, Cody Air Spun Loose Face Powder. And that's what the container looks like. And I have it in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage 0741. Now I've been um, in the market looking for a good um, face powder that I could use under my eyes to highlight, bake. Um, I'm really loving the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot face powder. Uh, but for the winters, it is a little drying on my skin. So I heard really good things about um, the Airspun powder on YouTube. And it's been compared to the um, Laura Mercier um, translucent finishing powder. And so a setting powder. And so I want to give it a try. I mean, this is less than $6. I believe the Laura Mercier one is about $38 or $40. So, you know, I wanted to try this out first. I heard really good reviews. So the shade that I picked up, and I've used this for a couple of days, and I just want to show you what the container looks like in the packaging. Now it twists open like that, and it comes with a puff. Now, there is a sleeve, and if you pull the sleeve, you see tiny holes, and that's what the powder comes out of. Now, usually what I do is I, I'm going to grab one of my brushes here. I take um, like a e.l.f. Uh, foundation brush, something with a, you know, small like that, and if I dab it on the container, and I just apply it under my eyes, It really uh, mattifies under my eyes and um, also really makes my pores look smaller. And I was very pleasantly surprised how well this product performed. Um, I'm always, um, you know, needing a little bit of blotting. I would say about, you know, six to seven hours um, in the office. Um, and in the summertime, more often, I do tend to get oily in my um, T-zone. But this product has surprised me. Now, um, the reason I picked up this shade is because this is the one that does not add any color to my face. So basically, my foundation shade is what I pick, and then I apply my uh, translucent powder, so it just mattifies. Um, the only thing about this product is, is that it's heavily scented. Now, so if you're someone who doesn't like scents um, in their face products, um, this is not the product for you. Now, scents, um, you know, as I've said before, they don't really bother me. So I actually really enjoy this powder and I enjoy the scent. It's got this really floral um, scent, uh, very pleasant. Now, one thing to note is the scent does linger. So it's not one of those products that you put on and then, you know, 10 minutes later, the scent is gone. Now, it lingers, I would say, for a good 30 minutes, for me at least. So um, that's something to keep in mind. Other than that, I think as a uh, for the price, for the amount of product you get, this is an excellent, excellent face powder. Um, I've looked at uh, online some of the details. It does mattify. It does smooth out the pores. Um, and um, it's worked really, really good for me. So I highly recommend this product. Um, if you guys have tried any of the other shades or um, have tried this product, please leave me your comments below and let me know, um, you know, what you've thought of this powder um, and if there are, you know, other shades I need to try. But um, for an amount, you get about 2.3 ounces of powder in this uh, container. And it's plastic. Um, it is a little messy. So in order to avoid that, I don't um, completely take the sleeve off. I leave it on. And when I need it, I use it and I close it back up. And it seems to work pretty good. So like I said, this retails for less than $6 at Walmart. And I think it ranges somewhere between... 5 to 7.49 or something depending on where you purchase. So I would um you know uh, encourage you to try this product and let me know your comments before if you have tried it what you've thought about it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.